It's 1985. Back to the future. We are the world. Crisis on Infinite Earths. Banana Fish. And a second serving of Reagan. So Banana Fish is a series most people know from its 2018 anime adaptation by homophobic edgelord anime studio MAPPA, takedown video coming soon. But the original Banana Fish manga began its publication way back in May of 1985, which is convenient timing because just a month later on June 7th, Columbia Pictures released the Jamie Lee Curtis John Travolta co-starring aerobic filled First Amendment messaging flop, Perfect. The movie that is the undeniable inspiration for Banana Fish. <laughs> Perfect follows a man named Adam Lawrence, a reporter for the Rolling Stone, with his trusty photog at his side, who, while working on a story in a foreign land, encounters Jesse Wilson, a well-known and highly respected aerobic instructor within her greater community. While callous and apprehensive in her dealing with Adam initially because of her general lack of trust of other people due to traumatic experiences in her past, after spending copious amounts of time together with Adam, the two form a strong romantic bond as Jesse starts to open up to him, revealing more about the incidents of her past that shape why she is the way she is, including divulging about about a relationship she once had which ended in tragedy. As the two grow closer, a government conspiracy involving a cover-up is revealed with Adam finding himself in the middle of it, eventually returning to the land from whence he came without a goodbye to Jesse and the two never see each other again. Well, until she flies cross country to watch Adam's trial, they reunite after the court upholds the First Amendment and they drive off into the sunset. Cue aerobics montage! <laughs> So it's a little different than Banana Fish, but it's not like Atlantis The Lost Empire is exactly like Nadia The Secret of Blue Water, right? And that summary doesn't even begin to cover the list of ways Perfect serves as the root inspo for Banana Fish's entire identity. Adam is a bland square of a black-haired man that is largely unremarkable and a character that in no way could act as a solo symbol of the story he is attached to by fans of said story. He's only really seen as relevant when paired with his significantly more popular partner. Hey, don't blame me. I'm just speaking on observations of the fan if you have anyone to blame, blame yourselves. A partner who carries the story on her strong ass back decades later to the point of being featured prominently in viral social media videos as well as very recently in a lyric video for a song by Pink. Not to mention Adam is just as if not more so of a lovable dumbass than AG, objectively because he's het. Adam's asshole no filter having boss Mark Roth is fairly identical to Max Lobo except probably half his height. But look, there's Jessica. Dita who regularly and unconditionally supports Adam throughout the story is unquestionably eBay and Jeff as the match to Shorter, Jesse's main confidant in the story who warms up to Adam, is a limited role in comparison, but hey, at least he lives. Now, it's well documented that the mangaka of Banana Fish, Akimi Yoshida, based Ash Lynx very heavily off of River Phoenix, except that's just not true. Ash Lynx is based off of Jamie Lee Curtis. The tomboyish outfits, the stern look, the mullet. Aside from a name like Jesse being androgynous, much like the nickname Ash, Jamie Lee Curtis as Ash Lynx, I mean Jesse Wilson, transcends gender as an icon of attraction to all she encounters with influence and reverence across the aerobics industry on par with ashes across the gangs of New York. Before we move on, I leave you with this. What is so wrong with wanting to be perfect? What's wrong with wanting to be loved? Can't you hear him screaming? Now this is where things get controversial. Yue Lung, Linda. Yue Linda. <laughs> Linda is Yue Lung because she admires Jesse, has contempt for Adam, is surrounded by disrespect, and in the end, she loses. Sing is Sally, Yue Linda's bestie, with whom she has a brief conflict but also collective love from their shared community-based connection. And Kane Blood is Roger because he's involved with Sally and he's hot, although Roger's a whole lot dumber. I'm sensing a theme. Blanca is Robert, who offers support to Linda and Jesse throughout. Alexis Dawson is the anime counterpart nerd under scrutiny to Joseph McKenzie. Arthur is the journalist who exposed Jesse's affair with her coach because they are a dick. Dino Golzi is the United States government because of course he is. And while on the surface Frankie is a photographer and a constant companion to Adam with these two things she could easily be seen as eBay, in the end she proves herself to be Lau. And that's just the character side of things. But wait, narratively, there's more. The story begins with Ash being interviewed by the publication AG works for, just like Adam trying to interview Jesse. Adam and Jesse travel to the boonies and meet Jesse's mom with whom she has a contentious relationship, just like Ash's dad on Cape Cod. Adam's hotel room is a direct parallel to the apartment Ash and AG stay in for a long time during the first half of the story. And the many 
cutscenes mirror their emotional moments. Adam going ham on the Rolling Stone office in defense of Jesse with the baseball bat is the character swap scenario of when Ash went Rambo on Golzine's compound. The scene in the hospital where Ash and AG see each other but aren't able to touch? Meet Jesse chasing Adam on his way to prison. That scene where Ash teaches AG how to shoot a gun, inviting him into his world, so to speak? It's the iconic aerobic scene. Not bad, AG, but look at Ash go. I want to be perfect is the narrative through line of perfect. So Banana Fish was clearly constructed with the through line of accepting imperfections, the fish in this banana. Plus, the story takes place in both New York and California, both by coastal love affairs. And apparently, according to Akimi Yoshida herself, allegedly, when it comes to Ash and AG's relationship, Ash is the bottom and AG is the top, which means Banana Fish is just gender swapped perfect because that's what Jesse and Adam's roles are in the movie, and for all cis hetero couples for that matter. Although when it comes to their actors, Jamie Lee Curtis is 1000% the top. Sorry, bottom Travolta. So objectively through it all, I think we can all agree that Perfect is the inspiration for Banana Fish, and by that logic, so is my own private Idaho. River, Fee Lynx, and A.G. Okeanu, and that ending? This woman doesn't have an original idea at all! So I would definitely tell you to watch Perfect if you want more Banana Fish, because I watched it for the free and without a fee on Crackle with ads, but then I checked before making this video and now it's gone? Mom? Well, if you want more hotties doing fitness things, watch all the uncensored playthroughs of every love interest from Jock Studio on my Patreon. Bryce's in particular is a disaster. And starting tomorrow, I'll be playing the Aiden Route of Scoutmaster season for Patreon as well. But let me know in the comments below, have you seen Perfect? Have you seen Banana Fish? Have you seen both? And most important of all, do you also nominate Curtis Travolta for a live action Banana Fish adaptation? Bye!